everyone. My name is Ginger Huber. I'm an American cliff diver who took second place in the 2013 FINA World Championships. Today I'm here to talk to you about one of the dives that helped me get onto the podium that year. So in 2013, this was the first time that high diving was debuted in the FINA World Championship. So the dive that I did was a 5143, which is a forward two somersaults with one and one half twist in the free position. And at that time, it was considered not the easiest dive, but it wasn't the hardest. It fell sort of in the intermediate level. I didn't have a coach back in those days when I was learning to high dive and we didn't have a training facility. And I just saw one of the other high divers do this dive for the first time. And I immediately understood how it worked. Okay, right off the bat, I see on my takeoff that I'm leaning forward a little bit. Not a huge deduction, but it sort of affected my dive a little bit later on towards the entry. If I had kept my head more neutral on the start and a little bit more ankle snap, that would give me a little more pop up and keep me more square on the beginning, which would help the dive towards the end. Now, I did a good job actually adjusting right before the entry. And what I did, you'll see, I came around from the twist, looking at the, as I came around then into the branny, I adjusted one arm. Okay, my left arm went a little bit behind me and my right arm stayed a little bit more in front. So because I wasn't more up on the takeoff, I had to make that adjustment in the air right before I lined up for my entry. The speed of the dive looks good. Today, the judges I think like to see the arms a little bit more in front on the branding and you can see that mine are a little bit behind, but at that time that was my style. The flight looks good. I think my lines look good. And then the entry was nice. It was clean and I was actually vertical. A lot of times I will leave it a little bit short and stand up on it, but I was vertical. Um, one thing that may have given me a little higher score was if my arms were straighter. The rule book says that your arms should be tight to your body and mine are tight to my body, but they maybe are a little bit bent and I think the judges prefer to see a little more straight and locked out arms. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about achieving a perfect dive. Now everyone knows that dives are judged on the approach, the takeoff, the flight, the position, the entry. But one thing that is not discussed much is a diver's confidence, how they portray themselves to their audience. My coach used to tell me this all the time. You can do all these dives in practice, but then when you go to competition, you, you can't do it. You do something totally different. And so we worked on that a lot. He noticed even when I was learning a new dive, how my posture would change to get tight and nervous. Work on the mental side of the dive and work on being confident in yourself. Um, it doesn't mean that you're cocky. It doesn't mean that you're full of yourself. It just is going to reflect to your audience and the judges and the other divers that you know what you're doing. And you're gonna create a good environment where all the divers support one another. And as it grows, I hope that it can continue to remain that way because it's a special bond that we all have. Thank you for, for watching and listening and I hope that I provided some helpful advice. I'm absolutely reveling in this spotlight and really trying to keep the crowd involved. Front double somersault with one and a half twists. <laughs> Another incredible entry. I mean, the level of competition has been outstanding.